Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to talk about central limit theorem. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Central limit theorem, the more formal description of it. Suppose x1 through xn is a sequence of independent and identically distributed random variables with expected value E of xi equal to mu, which is a population mean, and variance VAR of xi equal to sigma square, where sigma square is less than infinite. Then as n approaches infinity, the random variable square root of n xn bar minus mu, where xn bar is a sample average, okay? Minus mu, mu is a population average. Converge in a distribution to a normal n with a mean of zero variance of sigma square or square root of n in parenthesis xn bar minus mu approaches normal distribution with mean of zero variance of sigma square, which is a normal distribution with a mean zero and variance sigma square. More informal description of central limit theorem. Let x bar be the mean of a large number, sim large number n greater than 30. Simple random sample from a population with mean mu and standard deviation sigma, then x bar has approximately normal distribution with mean mu x bar equal to mu and standard deviation sigma x bar is equal to population standard deviation sigma divided by square root of n or square root of sample size. Application, let's apply the central limit theorem for a problem. A cereal manufacturer claims that the weight of a box of cereal labeled as weighing 12 ounces has a mean of 12.0 ounce and a standard deviation of 0.1 ounce. You sample 75 boxes and weigh them. Let X bar denote the mean weight of the 75 boxes. If the claim is true, what is the probability of the sample mean X bar less equal to 11.99? Based part B, based on answer to part A, if the claim is true, is 11.99 ounces an unusually small mean weight for a sample of 75 boxes? Part C, if the mean weight of the boxes were 11.99 ounces, would you be convinced that the claim was false? So solution, sampling distribution of X bar you know, sampling distribution of X bar has a mean mu X bar equal to mean of the population equal to 12. And sigma X bar is standard deviation of the sampling distribution. That is the probability distribution of the sample mean. Sigma X bar is sigma divided by square root of N, which is 0.1 divided by square root of 75 or 0 0.01154. Okay, so we are required to find out what is the probability of X bar less equal to 11.99? So we go to our calculator, TI-84, second verse two, second button, and then verse button, which is in the third row. And um, then we will do uh, select number two, which is normal CDF. The lower boundary for the uh, normal distribution is, in this case, is minus E99. So we'll press the minus sign on the left of the enter button. And then uh, we will do second comma, second button and then comma, which is on top of seven. We will get the small capital E, which is exponent 99. We'll type nine nine after that. This is minus 10 to the power of 99 or a very large negative number. So the, that's my the lower bound. My upper bound, I want up to only 11.99. And then my mean is 12. My standard deviation is 0 0.01154. That probability works out to be 0 0.193. 
So there's a 19.3% chance that the mean of this sample mean will be less than or equal to 11.99. Part B, based on the answer to part A, if the claim is true, is 11.99 ounce an unusually small mean weight for a sample of 75 boxes? Since probability of X bar sample mean less equal to 11.99 is 0.193, probability of X bar greater than 11.99 is 1 minus 0.193 or 0 0.807. Thus, 80% of the mean weights of the boxes will be greater than 11.99. Hence, 11.99 is not an unusually small mean weight for a sample of 75 boxes. Part C, if the mean weight of the boxes were 11.99 ounces, would you be convinced that the claim was false? Remember the claim the manufacturer was making was the mean weight is 12 ounces with a uh, standard deviation of uh, 0.1, okay? If the mean weight of the boxes were 11.99 ounces instead of 12, I would not be convinced that the claim was false based on answer to part B because the probability of X sample mean greater than 11.99 is 0 0.807, which is a large probability value. Therefore, I will not be too concerned that the claim was false, okay? I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another problem, another solution. Take care, have a nice day, and thanks for watching. See you next time.